Hey guys, so um, I just went to Kane's for the first time and all was going well until the building caught on fire and now everybody had to evacuate. Literally, the lady came running out. She was like, everybody get out of here now. Get out, get out, get out. <laughs> What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samuel Alvarez. I'm a freshman here at the beautiful University of Alabama, Roll Tide, and you should totally subscribe because that would just be awesome. In this video, I figured that before summer officially starts and all the dining halls shut down, everything shuts down, that I would go to all of the dining halls here at the university and give them all the ratings so that you'll know what you're getting yourself into if you decide to go to one. First, my friend Zach and I went to Raising Cane's because I thought that was a dining hall UA only thing. And apparently it's not a University of Alabama only thing. It's like a nationwide thing and I just had no idea about it. So doesn't really count, but Raising Cane's was super good. It was my first time going to Raising Cane's and it was pretty good. As you saw, apparently the building caught on fire and so everybody had to evacuate the building. So we didn't even get to eat inside of Raising Cane's, but whatever. Everybody's safe, so that's all that matters. All right, so now I am going to Fresh Foods, the Fresh Food Market, something like that. I just call it Fresh Foods. Everybody calls it Fresh Foods. We're gonna see what they have to offer today. My mask just broke. I guess I'll just put a mask on with one string and hope they don't say anything. <laughs> So we got some strombolis here. Ooh, are those cheddar biscuits? Like the red lobster cheddar biscuits. Okay, maybe so. A pasta bar. We got a salad bar over there. Another salad bar, sort of. Desserts. What is this? Plant for? Interesting. We got some baked foods over here. Sub shop. Can I get a burger, a cheeseburger with lettuce, please? Uh, some fries too, please. Sorry. Uh -huh. All right, so I just got a cheeseburger and fries from their grill area, and we're gonna see how it is. Pretty solid fries. Pretty good. There's the cheeseburger. The burgers aren't five star. But they're still pretty good. They're a little dry, but they're still really good. Better than my high school cafeteria, so. Can I get some baked chicken and macaroni and a waffle, actually? Thank you so much. All right, so I just went back and got some baked chicken, macaroni, and a waffle. Holy crap. Mm, that's good. All right, macaroni. Pretty good. It's very watery. And last but not least, the waffle. That's good. They made it like French toast. All right, so I just left Fresh Foods and I gotta admit, Fresh Foods was really good. Yeah, overall, I would say, I would give it probably a nine out of 10. I'm just saying this because I've been to all of the dining halls on campus. It's definitely the best dining hall on campus. Decent quality food overall. Now, I'm about to go eat dinner for the third time tonight at Lakeside Dining, which is the last dining hall that we're gonna go to tonight. And I think I'm gonna do three more tomorrow too because I just don't know if I can eat anymore after Lakeside. I will actually explode. You know, the crust, thick. 
all the cheese just came off. So it's just tomato bread. All right guys, so we just got done eating at Lakeside Dining and I'm probably gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10, maybe a seven, simply because that's the main dining hall that I've eaten at throughout my time here at the university. The food is decent, but it's not the best. There's a few grilling areas, Asian food, Italian food, a dessert area, a salad bar, some other things there. It's all right. It's just not as good as fresh foods. The scenery outside of Lakeside is very pretty and they even have this outdoor seating area over there that's really nice to sit at plus it's very convenient because it's less than a two minute walk from the majority of the dorms here on campus day two of rating all of the ua dining halls and eating areas and right now i'm actually at the presidential terrace market wow right now i'm at the presidential terrace market where they have these delicious chicken paninis something like that I went to the presidential place and because today's today's the last day of school everything's kind of shutting down and not really offering as much as they usually do so i went to the presidential terrace market and they have these delicious paninis and mac and cheese and all kinds of other stuff usually there's like a little touchscreen computer and you like type in your order and customize it to what you want or whatever but today you have to like write it down and do it manually like we're pioneers or something Either way, I still got my food. With your meal here at the Presidential Terrace Market, you get the entree, you get a bag of chips, and you get a drink. Okay. And I got a chicken and cheese and bacon panini. Look at this. That just looks delicious. And it is delicious. 10 out of 10. I haven't even taken a bite out of it, but I already know what it tastes like. 10 out of 10, best place to eat here at the university. Mm. And these are the chips I got. All right, guys. So we are now at the fourth and final dining hall that we're going to be going to in this video. And it's Mary B's Cafe Diner. I'm actually here with my family today and I'm bringing them on some of my guest passes because I still got a lot of those and we do not waste money in this household. And I've been here before with my friends, Sarah and Emily, who I go to church with, and it's pretty good. So you actually come over here to these tablets and you make your order on here, and then they'll make them over here. All right, never mind. We got there and they said they were closed, even though the website said they were open. They said that since it was like the last day of school or whatever, that they were closing early, earlier than the early that was on the website. I don't know. So we're not getting Mary B's tonight, but just take my word for it. Mary B's is pretty good. They have some awesome grilled chicken sandwiches, burgers, pizza. They have good food there. They have good fries. Mary B's, I'd probably give it an eight out of 10. Also, there's a place at Tutwiler, the girls storm that um, I think it's called, I can't remember what it's called, Julia. I think it's Julia's. Yeah, there's a place called Julia's at Tutwiler and I'm pretty sure it's something similar to Mary B's. Don't take my word for it because I've never been there because I'm not a girl, so I can't get in there. Those are the five main dining places here on campus. There's also several places that accept dining dollars, which is not the meal plan. You get 350 dining dollars at the University of Alabama every semester to pay for food. And you can use that at places like Raisin Cane's. The Ferguson Center has several fast food restaurants like Subway, Panda Express, Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, Wendy's, and also around the city of Tuscaloosa, there are several places that accept dining dollars like Pyro's Pizza, Nukes, and several other places. But you can check that out on the Bama Dining website, which I'll leave down below in the description. I'm pretty sure that's all I have to say for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you're planning on coming to the University of Alabama and you're trying to see what to expect, I hope this video helped you out. If you go to the University of Alabama and you've eaten at some of these places, let me know down in the comments what you thought about them, which one's your favorite. For me personally, my favorite is either the Prez Terrace Market or Fresh Foods. With all that being said, um, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to comment and subscribe down below because that would just be awesome. And as always, Jesus loves you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.